Hey guys, what's up? Steve here with no magic. Hey guys, Steve here. This will be part two of the uh, moose hide videos, moose hide tanning. So uh, I'm pretty much done scraping the hair off and the uh, grease off. That's what I did in the first video, so it was mostly just cleaning it, getting it ready for tanning. And now, in this video, I'm just finalizing the scrape. And then we're cu gonna cut all the old loops off and uh, bring it inside so that it finishes up to dry. And then I'm gonna discuss some research I did for the uh, brain tanning solution and uh, how I chose my solution. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to do that solution and we're gonna apply it on the hide. So that's the plan anyways for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so yeah, now what I gotta do is I just gotta finalize taking off some of the small hairs and just do the edges and uh, yeah, cut it off. So I'll keep going. It's uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius out right now, so it's good temperature to be scraping. Took out this area here for uh, lacing. Get some rawhide lacing out of that piece there. And then all the rest of the hide will be tanned. So, uh, yeah, we're almost ready to cut everything out. You can see kind of the hairs. guys so got coffee some notes nice and warm in here compared to outside it's minus 25 right now yesterday it was like minus 30 anyways it's been super cold all week but uh, as you guys know this is kind of the first time that I'm trying to tan uh, moose hide so I did a bit of research um, on the scraping methods and the tools needed and stuff like that. But uh, for the actual uh, brain tanning solution, like there's lots of different ways to tan. Um, there's brain tanning, there's um, bark tanning, 
There's different solutions you can buy. You can even use egg yolks and stuff. But uh, I want to do um, a brain tan um, technique. So anyways, I've been looking through some different books and some different videos. So a few cool books that I have here. I got um, this one here, Wilderness Living Survival Skills. John and Jerry McPherson, Wildwood Wisdom by uh, Ellsworth Jagger, Bushcraft by Morse. So I went through these books, some other books as well, and some videos. And so here's what I kind of discovered. So in Bushcraft by Morse, um, the brain tan solution is basically just the brains are simmered in a little bit of water and the solution is then extended with some finely chopped liver or marrow so normally one brain you can do pretty much the whole hive but sometimes you gotta extend it um, but it's pretty much just brains and water and then it's spread on the whole uh, thing and then the other book here Wildwood um, Wisdom it's the same kind of thing so brains Okay, I'll be right back. I need to get some coffee for the family. <laughs> So it says in this one here, the brain is mashed with the hands in warm water and the liver also is boiled with it sometimes. Sometimes they'll use the, the liver as well. So that seems to be kind of the traditional or the most like the older method would be pretty much just brains in the water. But uh, with these methods, I guess all the methods and, and what I'm going to do, there's a lot of work. Um, physical work involved, so you gotta break your your hide, you gotta move it, you gotta rub it, you gotta ring it, but that we'll do later, and I'll show that as well. But then what's cool too is that in here, um, Wildwood Wisdom, he mentions the Dan Beard's method, so he adds, Dan Beard adds bacon grease, he also use bear grease, um, and that's pretty much the equivalent of what uh, Crisco is, so it's just lard. And it was thoroughly rubbed into the deer skin until saturated. Roll skin for a few days. When dry, wash thoroughly with soap. Clean spelt is wrung and pulled, work, etc. And then the skin becomes white and velvety, then smoked. So grease was also used in the hide. Um, and then this book by uh, John and Jerry McPherson, Primitive Wilderness Living and Survival Skills. This book's awesome because all the articles in there are really, you really, it's really a familiar writing. And it's really explained like how he used, he, he practiced and learned it like trial and error. Um, and he says, so there's one brain that's pounded. Um, you can use the blender, the egg beater. And then it's beaten and it's boiled in one gallon of water for 10-15 minutes. And then you do numerous soakings with that mixture. And he mentions you cannot have too much um, brain in your height, but you can have not enough. So lots of soakings, lots of brain. And he uses kind of a cycle method. But anyway, so. It's always kind of around brains. Now, there's some really cool videos that I found on YouTube. So it's, uh, this one is from Portage College. Um, it's called High Tanning, the Traditional 13 Steps. And what I'm gonna do, and I found all the, the ingredients, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use their exact um, brain mixture, so their exact recipe. It's really well explained into that video. So I'll put descriptions, all that stuff, um, in my description of my video. So I'm gonna use, so they say one moose brain. I'm actually gonna use uh, cow brain because 
I couldn't find blue springs, was just able to secure some calibrates here at the local uh, butcher shop. Uh, so one brain, one half pound of lard or bear grease or Crisco, one half bar sunlight shade soap, and one half gallon of water. Simmer, stir until all melts, and then add the oil or the Crisco to it at the end. Mush the brain, and then they say apply on the hair side only because the hair side is the more porous side. The other side has uh, could have grease and flesh still, so it doesn't penetrate as much. And there's an awesome video that I found too from uh, a Cree elder um, out at uh, Waskaganish, so that's in Bay James up in northern Quebec. It's called uh, Bill Jolly. Moose hide tanning tutorial. Um, the channel is from El Dudrito. So the softening mixture that he explains, um, they call it the Michu Mapu. So there's soap grated to pieces, and there's a pail of water boiled with the soap, oil or Crisco oil, and then you add the, the soap and the Crisco oil, and then you boil it for three hours until it's thickened like cream and then let it cool and then the hide is soaked in the mixture for two nights and then this is awesome because this is the only place that I found like the real uh, winter method and then he explains that in the winter you can bring it outside hang it on a pole to freeze dry and then when it's on that pole in the winter it's left outside there to dry for a very long time and eventually the texture is softened and it is spring summer and then from there you do your softening beating it um, and whatnot and your final smoking and stuff um, because a lot of the things that I find is for summer or for more southern um, climates up here in the north for sure um, they did tiding in the winter time and we have super cold winters thus you're able to scrape it when it's frozen solid and then you're also able to apply that mixture and then let it freeze dry is what they call it freeze dry and then that's supposed to um, soften it so that's what I want to try so anyways um, cool anyways research I'm basically learning this by myself and I'm not going to like a course or anything I'm just kind of sharing with you guys my research and we'll see it'll be trial and error so we'll see what happens so I got all my ingredients upstairs in the kitchen um, please be advised yeah it's gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit graphic with the brain so I have that brain I'll show you guys the brain we're gonna boil it mash it up and then I got the soap that we're gonna grate, the sunlight bar soap, we're gonna grate that, put that in there with the Crisco oil, boil it for a bit, and then throw it on the wood stove to let it uh, kind of simmer, and then we'll apply it on the hide. The hide right now is all dry, it's basically just a thick, like cardboardy raw hide, dried in the garage. That would have been like back in the day, they wouldn't have a garage, but they could bring it either inside the cabin or inside the, the teepee or the, the shelter or the tent beside the stove and dry it there yeah so we're gonna go prepare the mixture All right so first things first I got my brains in here and I take them out and uh, simmer them His brains, you never know if there could be something unsafe in there. So just kind of get them cooked first. Wash my hands good. brains actually I'm gonna rinse it out a little bit to get rid of some of the ice, the, some of the blood but so I got two brains in here 
because I got two hides, so I'm going to do the uh, recipe doubled. So I'm going to use one full um, bar of soap like this, so one, one full one. I'm going to grate it in there with my grater, and then I'm going to put a whole pound, this is one pound, a whole pound of the Crisco uh, lard. This could be bear fat, but we're going to use this. And then there's going to be a whole gallon of water, so four liters of water in there. And uh, yeah, rinse this. Throw some water. Boil it. Well, we've got a little bit of an issue. The brain mixture stinks pretty bad at the house, so we're gonna transfer outside on the fire, so split a bit of wood. What's a bushcraft video without a bit of wood splitting? And the fire. Very particular It's a very bizarre smell. There's a mixture of meat and soap and that uh, sunlight soap is really citrusy. So it's a thing that's better done outside. I guess we're learning. But uh, yeah, nice little fire. Awesome. Let me know you guys um, in the comments if you guys ever did any brain tanning and what your recipes are, what ingredients you use. And uh, I do think that it's possible to do the brain tan without the brain by using uh, the mixture of grease and the soap because I've seen it in other buckskin videos and that uh, Cree Elder uh, did not use brain. So I think the, the grease and the sunlight pretty much gives you the same consistency or the same type of action that the brain does. But in this mix, I have both. So I have the soap and I have the brain. So it's a good little combo. Try to fit, fit the pot on there without spilling it. Perfect.
Alright, so this is my hive. Tried it on the, in the garage here. Hanging on the rope. Very cardboardy, so hopefully the mixture will help soften it up. See if it's cooled down enough or if it's still too warm. warm but it's not bad so perfect let's throw some on there spread it Alright guys, so this is the hide, so basically what I did, as you saw, I put the brain mixture all over the hide, and uh, I ended up putting some on each side, and I was able to fold it up and put it in that pot, left it soak for two nights, and uh, it's pretty cool in the garage, so it's like around 5-10 degrees Celsius almost fridge temperatures so just let it soak in there and then bring it outside and then I hung it on uh, these ropes and uh, it's pretty cold still so it's frozen right now it's minus 20 but last night it went down to minus 29 Celsius so anyways I'm gonna leave it here and let it dry for many days probably like a whole week and then uh, once it dries, I'll do the first smoking. So we're gonna do a smudgy fire and uh, do the first smoking. But that'll be uh, for next video. We'll do a series of smokings and uh, rubbing it, scraping it, wringing it, working it. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, stay safe, have a good one. Subscribe if you like these videos and uh, Yeah, let me know if you guys uh, do brain tanning what your uh, Tanning solutions are that you use or if you got any tips awesome So it's starting already to be uh, feels like it's softer Already, but I don't know if it's just because it's still greasy and it's not really um dry but uh at least you can i mean it's still cardboardy but it's softer so I think I'm going to flip it over so that I have the hair side underneath um, because when I'll be doing the smoking I want to smoke the hair side so I'll flip it over.